today's session. I've also started recording the session. All those who have joined in for the very first time and want to see other previous sessions also, the recording. So Jatin, I, you have asked me. So for everyone, I'm sending sending you across the URL of the sending you across the URL of that specific uh, YouTube channel where we have all the videos of our previous sessions. Uh, here you go. So that's the URL, guys. You can go ahead and click onto this URL and get the access to the previous sessions recording. All right. So once I click onto this URL, here you can see this particular YouTube channel will open up. All right. This particular URL, uh, once you'll click, which I've given you across in the chat window, once you click onto that, you will get to this particular YouTube uh, account. Over here, you will see a lot of videos. Uh, if you go onto the playlist section, sorry, on the, yeah, onto the playlist, you have various other batches. So the uh, this particular batch is the Monday batch, all right, where, where we have already covered 15 sessions so far. So usually we have 10 sessions, but in with uh, online we have much more than that. All right. So that's with this this specific uh, batch, guys. The Monday batch. I'll update it uh, in terms of the date, guys. All right. So we had one session before, which was from May 24 to August 9th, and then we have an existing one, which is uh, the September 13th one, right? Which is the Sunday one, which is going on. So tomorrow also we have a session in case you guys want to join in tomorrow. Same time, same uh, details in terms of uh, getting the access. All right, so the topic for today, anybody who knows what exactly are we going to cover today, guys? What is the topic for today's session? Welcome, Santosh, Mudit, Jatin, Abhishek. Thank you so much for joining in. What exactly is the topic for today's class? All right, so we're going to start with social media marketing. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Santos. Social media marketing and Facebook marketing, we're going, to, we're going to start with. So what do we understand by social media, guys? What are social media websites? Let me ask you that. Why social media is being used as part of... So Facebook is a social, is a social media site, says Madhit. All right. Absolutely. What are the other social media sites and what exactly we mean by the terminology? Facebook, uh, sorry, social media. So Facebook, YouTube, absolutely. They all are uh, social media sites. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn says uh, Abhishek. Santosh says Twitter and LinkedIn as well. Absolutely. And what do we understand by this word? What is the common thing? What exactly is common between all these websites? Whether you're talking about Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, so forth. They all are social community. And when you say social community, what is what are the functionalities which you are able to do within these websites? Linking with others, all right? So when you say linking, you are able to network, right? You have people with whom you can go ahead and network, you can communicate, and you have the ability to check what others are also doing. So if it's a Twitter, then I can get to see what uh, other people with other, other Twitter profiles are tweeting about, what are they sharing across on regular basis. Similarly with YouTube, I can check, I can upload my videos and I can also check what others are uploading videos, right? Similarly with Facebook, I hope, I don't think we, I need to educate anybody over here about what Facebook is. It's a platform where you can create your own personal profile by your name and upload your photographs, upload your uh, pictures, check in wherever you are going. You can share what, or whatever you feel like, whatever you want to share it across with your friends, family, colleague, whosoever is there in your friend list. But now, since we have been using these social media networking sites for network, social media sites for networking, for fun, for entertainment, for making people know what are you up to, so plenty of uh, reasons why we use social media sites. Now, what is that thing? within these social media sites which attracts the marketers. Why do marketers use uh, these social media networking sites? Avishek says connecting with other people and expanding ideas with people having same interest as ours. Absolutely. Absolutely. Right, Avishek. Modit says traffic. So marketers would be using, would do use social media, social um, uh, media sites for the purpose of getting traffic onto their website. All right. What else? Why marketers think that social media networking site uh, is not to be ignored at all? 
anyone else who would like to jump in and say something about that? So why social media networking, social media sites are being used across by marketers? So Abhishek says most of the potential customers are on Facebook. Absolutely. So uh, it's not just Facebook, but also Twitter, LinkedIn, various other websites. There are people who are spending a lot of time. Or this is get in touch with multiple people to promote his products. Absolutely. No matter whatever kind of products it may them uh, they can be. There are different businesses of different sorts, and every business has its own product and service which they are selling across. And for every single business, the product and service which they are selling across, they have a specific set of ta target audience. That set of target audience, if it's if they are using internet, that then definitely we are trying to use the, those channels of internet where the end audience is. Similarly. One of the aspect of internet marketing, just like search engine optimization, Google AdWords, or other various aspects, we have social media marketing also because our target audience is there is a higher number of chances that our target audience is also spending a lot of time on Facebook. Let's say for an example of uh, for with with example of my specific uh, business also, which is digital marketing, Partial. I hope most of you would have seen. Uh, I have been running across advertisements on Facebook for promoting across this, uh, uh, you know, my courses. My audience is you guys, right? And I am very much sure that you guys spend a lot of time on Facebook and uh, or on other channel. And that's the reason why I do a lot of direct targeting in terms of making my advertisement shown to those people who would like my like my product or service and the chances of getting those audience getting attracted to my products and services is going to be higher right so that's the reason these are some basics which we want which we should understand before we go ahead and talk about social media marketing uh, in generic so in generic sense what exactly are you know how should we go ahead and create a social media strategy i'm going to talk about that but well, this is getting in touch with multiple people to promote his products absolutely we have to get that done all right so we have uh, Mamta also joining you. Mamta, welcome to the session and let's get started with social media. All right. So number one step, guys, when we are trying to create a social media strategy, number one thing which we do is to first of all, find out the find out what the company is of actually offering and uh, see and we have to evaluate where exactly is our organization uh, right now in terms of the social profiles, in terms of the social media. Does our website, does our organization have social media presence or not? In case if this is not there, you have to ask yourself these questions. If your organization doesn't have the social media profiles, then you, to, you need to go ahead and first of all, create that. Once that's being created, then other things which needs to be evaluated and checked is that who is my audience? Is my audience, uh, is my audience part of, let's say, you know, uh, what example should I take? Let's say if I have a car garage, all right? When I say car garage, uh, where I go ahead and uh, do car wash services, I uh, deliver car wash services, let's say for an example, this is a hypothetical situation. I have to see who's my audience. I am trying to cater to that audience, which is residing 10 within 10 kilometers of my car garage. Let's say my car garage is based out of Noida, which is uh, a space specific place in uh, Delhi NCR region. So people residing within the 10 kilometer radius of uh, my car garage, I believe that they are only going to be uh, coming across. And is my audience those people who own the car, who would come directly to my car garage for getting car wash services, or I have to check whether my or the car owners are not going to come. It's going to be the chauffeurs, the drivers, which are being hired. So I have to ask myself these kind of questions. What is the age group of this particular audience? Are they within the 20 to 35 age group or 20 to 40 are they more males or females what part of uh, what geographic area are they in and what sort of interest level are do they have do they have more interest towards automobiles or uh, they are more into it profession they are more into uh, different other kind of professions such kind of questions needs to be asked i have to then first after addressing such kind of questions that who is my audience we have to check do we have the skills and resources to create uh, compelling and useful content? So for creating a social media strategy, if you're doing it for your uh, for employer, let's say, or for your 
client, you have to then ask uh, this particular situation whether we have a set of team resources which have which can create compelling and useful content. Another thing we have to look for that is there enough content. So we do need a lot of content on day in day out basis. The social media is not just about spamming across to people that please come and like my page, please, please come and like my page. No, it's all about sharing across that kind of content which your end audience will like. Let's say today if I offer 25% discount, tomorrow I give some information in terms of how the car, uh, you know, how can you take care of your car, you know, some educational stuff which my end audience would like. Let's say if I taught, uh, tell people that this is the way you should go ahead and drive your car in order to get maximum mileage or the, there are five different ways through which you can take care of your car and uh, make it, uh, you know, uh, maintain it for longer number of years. Or you can also share that uh, such and such uh, kind of uh, policies, insurance policy should be taken in terms of uh, whenever you're try trying to get your car insured. So some, some sort of content which is going to help the end audience that is always uh, recommended. So content is the king, guys. So you have to go ahead and create content. And then also you have to check, do we have, uh, so do you really know which social networks is your end customer really uh, is on? So maybe my end customer, which is the car owners and also the shoppers, both who would comes to my uh, car garage, what sort of websites, what sort of social media sites are they into? It might happen the shoppers are very much active on YouTube because uh, they are uh, they're just more keen towards watching a lot of multimedia content. And there can be a possibility that the car owners who are the actual owners of the car are very much active on LinkedIn or Twitter and not just Facebook. So there can be a possibility. So uh, how can we get to know whether my audience is active on, on LinkedIn or on social or on Twitter or the other section of my audience is more active on YouTube, not on Facebook. It's just only on the basis of doing primary research. When I say primary research, it means like going ahead and asking them either directly face to face, asking your set of audience over the phone, over the email. So you can take a bunch of, let's say 20, 25, 30 people, whatsoever, whatever your uh, business size is. So if it's a smaller business size, then maybe you can take uh, a smaller chunk of audience and then go ahead and ask them. All right, so uh, then also very good technique to go ahead and promote your social media, company social media profiles is with the help of your employees too. If your employees within your organization can promote across your social media profiles, uh, social media companies uh, pages uh, you know official pages then all that also would actually uh, help you in terms of achieving your results so we have to ask ourselves is everyone in the organization committed to help us for that right then step two after identifying after so doing a situational analysis while forming a social media marketing strategy number two thing guys is to set up a goal till the time we don't have a specific goal to achieve uh, our strategy cannot be built. So our goal can be various goals. Just say, let's say I need more number of likes or maybe I need more number of much more engagement by having maximum number of comments or I need a lot of uh, YouTube views on the videos which I'm uploading across on my YouTube channel or I would like to have uh, a lot of retweets of whatever tweets I would be posting across. So uh, the goals are to be defined and they can be de defined or determined also by looking at your competitors. You can learn a lot from your competitors. How are your competitors performing? So maybe any of your competitor, any single competitor of your particular uh, uh, business would be doing really well in terms of the social media. So you can have a lot of sense from your competitor and benchmark your competitor first and the kind of likes, the engagement which they are getting you can also first of all target for that. So you set up a goal and you set up uh, these metrics, whether it's the number of likes, retweets, number of views. Once you have got that, then things will start and then uh, you will take actions in terms of meeting these goals, right? Once the situation analysis, which is step one, that is being done and you have identified the goals, then comes the strategy part. You have to now Decide what all channels would you be using in order to achieve your uh, goal and your entire strategy is based upon the situational analysis also. Which all websites is my entire target audience looking after we have to go ahead and 
use those channels only. I cannot go ahead and choose Facebook because everybody is using it. I have to see whether my end audience is actually present on Facebook or not. It might happen that my audience is only active, my end audience is only active on Facebook, uh, LinkedIn, Twitter, and then just uh, maybe YouTube. So if it's not active on Facebook, it doesn't really make sense, right? So guys, this is very, uh, the kind of stuff which I'm telling you, it's very much, uh, I would say obvious kind of thing. You would feel that there is nothing technical which I'm telling you, this is quite obvious and this is quite logical, but people still do mistakes. People still do mistakes, even if it's quite obvious. They will still go ahead and have that herd mentality that everybody is doing Facebook, let's we, let's we let us also do the Facebook part. All right, so uh, like it says, be cautious, Facebook isn't always the best case for B2B. So let's say if in case you are into B2B, let's say you have a travel organization, you have a business which is into travel domain and you are selling across tour and travel packages, let's say international travel packages only to the corporates, okay? Only to corporates, uh, people who are, uh, corporates who book uh, these travel packages in bulk, you know, 20 packages, p packages for 20 employees, for 30 employees, for 50, you're not selling retail in a retail sense, right? Then it doesn't really make sense for you to go ahead and approach the corporates over Facebook because corporates, people who decide upon tour and travel packages in uh, various organizations, the admin people, I mean to say, admin people are the ones who make a decision which tour and travel organization they have to hire. So uh, they are very much active either on search engines or on LinkedIn, right? Or maybe they might check uh, some some stuff over the YouTube also. So uh, Facebook is something which is very less they would be. Uh, so for B2B, various B2B uh, businesses, Facebook isn't the right thing, guys. So always you have to ask yourself why this particular channel, right? Whenever you create content, new content, let's say today you decide that I am going to offer 10% discount on car wash services or car services or certain accessories on the car uh, which we are selling across. Then you have to ask yourself and put yourself in your customer shoes and decide whether it will make sense for them or not, right? So, and will it also achieve your original goals or not? So your goals has to be either the engagement, the links, uh, the likes and so forth and so on, right? So situation analysis, number two setting goals and then strategy part, right? This is sounding quite obvious, guys. You might believe, you might feel that this is quite obvious that uh, I'm not telling you something new, but still people do a lot of mistakes even after not, not uh, after knowing the obvious part. Then comes in believing, then comes in setting up uh, objectives which are smart. Anybody who is aware of the smart objective, guys, what does the definition of smart means? So S stands for something, M stands for something, A, R, and T. Anybody over here who's aware of the smart objectives? As I'm going to change the slide, the answer was there in that slide. Somebody who is actually from the management side can get uh, can tell me. So there are, whenever you are in an organization, you actually try to uh, create objectives which are smart. And S stands for something. M stands for another word. A stands for A stands for another word. R and then T. Anyone who is aware of that, so you can I know you can Google as well and then find out. So, but still, even if you can Google and let me know, that's also acceptable, no problem. No problem, Guru. That's an honest answer. Thank you so much. So, you can absolutely go ahead and uh, Google that across and still let me know. All right. Anyone else who wants to give it a shot? There are uh, smart objectives. Uh, and this is going to be something new for you guys. Various organizations believes in uh, asking you to create smart objectives what smart stands for what s stands for is specific when we say specific our goal needs to be very specific that i want to generate 2000 likes 2000 uh, twitter followers you know something which is very much specific then comes in the measurability part you cannot go ahead and consider you know create an objective like uh, you know achieve uh, increase brand awareness no you cannot say that is your objective you cannot say uh, absolutely right abhishek it's uh, specific measurable achievable relevant and time oriented you cannot also say that i the uh, objective is to increase the brand uh, awareness or objective is to have a good 
brand positioning or very subjective thing cannot be there it has to be very much measurable point right that uh, increase in 10000 likes or uh, 500 uh, 500 leads should come across so forth and so on right similarly then you need to have realistic achievable goals so you cannot say that you know i want to go ahead and have 10000 dollars being 10000 dollars being uh, achieved in revenue on daily basis you might feel that your uh, business is fairly small so social media marketing or whatever kind of uh, activity which you're doing for which you are creating your goal uh, it should be able to achieve that target achievable is the word it should not be that you know you're setting target which is not at all going to be achievable in another two years or three years or four years so something which is you can say uh, realistic you know something which is achievable so you can say a realistic goal is to have 2000 followers and uh, not 200 million followers so having 200 million followers in a month uh, would not be an achievable target for a small time business owner for a small time business owners having 2000 followers might be an achievable task or if on an average you are achieving 1400 1500 you think that you can scale up your activity and move from 14 1500 to 2000 followers on week also right so smart objective means that guys right? so a specific measurable achievable and then the relevant when we say relevant the relevancy part has to be there your goals cannot be way too different to uh, what your uh, what your campaign is going to be all about so your objective should have a direct and obvious impacts on your goals whatever objectives you're trying to achieve it should lead to the end goal your end goal might be to have uh, you know five 500,000 or five, you know, 5,000 rupees profit per day or 50,000 rupees profit per day. These kind of goals can be there and your objective, your social media objective can be to create, let's say 50 leads. When you have 50 leads in a day, uh, which is a relevant uh, objective, then you feel that fifth, with 50 leads, you can at least have five sales in a day and five sales. If every sale is giving you uh, on an average 1,000 rupees per day, then you can obviously achieve a goal of 5,000. So there are two things, guys, objectives and goals, right? So if your objective is to have 50 leads with the help of social media network, social media marketing, you can obviously connect that with your end goal, which your end goal is to have 5,000 rupees, let's say, profit on a daily basis. And that can be achieved if you can have 50 leads per day. Plus, the last point, guys, is to have time bound. There has to be a specific deadline for whatever goals you are trying to achieve it cannot be like okay i will achieve my goals i will achieve my objectives uh, when will you achieve oh i'll achieve it don't ask me the date it has to be time bound so objectives needs to be smart specific measurable achievable relevant and time bound today you guys might feel that i'm delivering a lecture just like an uh, an mba student uh, gets a lecture but uh, that's something which is very much uh, needed, guys, in order to understand the business side of social media also. I'll come on to the technical side also. So, which is, can you please explain the measurable part? Oh, absolutely, I appreciate it. Measurable part, something which can be measured, you know. Uh, 2,000 followers is a measurable part, you know. Or maybe, let's say, uh, two th 5,000 rupees uh, profit per day. This is something which, which you can measure. But as compared to something which is not measurable uh, an example of a non measurable thing is something like uh, creating brand awareness or having a positive impact on the brand uh, positive impact on the uh, positive brand positioning or having a lot of uh, lot of uh, viral factor being there or so forth and so on so that is not measurable measurable is something which you can count something which can be counted on your tips on your fingers is measurable you can say it's one two three four five or six or whatever number that is measurable and achievable is something which is realistic and can be achieved relevancy i've already told you all right so that's with smart objective guys now i hope every anybody who uh, anyone who would come across this uh, specific term smart can get to know about that so the tactics guys step five is to talk about the tactics after creating the objectives so number step was step one was situation analysis once you have done the situation analysis you have set up the goals then so you have spoken about the strategy the of ob the smart objectives which we have covered so far 
uh, which we've spoken just now. Then the uh, step five is to talk about while creating a social media marketing strategy is to talk about the tactics. So the content you create is what you will send out to each channel, whether it's a YouTube or Instagram or Twitter or on Facebook or on LinkedIn, so forth and so on. Whatever content you will create, you will somehow or the other refurbish that stuff and post it across on all the channels which are relevant, right? So you have to create lots of that, uh, lots of content for all these channels. Plus, you should be in terms of tactics. It's not only the social media profiles where uh, some uh, you know written content has to be posted uh, with some link being given. You should also go with some much major, bigger stuff, specific, especially if you are in B2B business. If you are in B2B business, things like uh, you know white papers, downloads, free webinars, like the way I keep doing free webinars, I believe some uh, couple of people over here are coming in, jo have joined in for the first time. So it's very much important to do such kind of th things. You send across, uh, you know, free eBooks, deliver free white papers, and also, uh, you know, you can break all of that down into various blog posts. Also, you can mention in your blog post that, uh, let's say, I can have a blog post which talks about that last Saturday we had a session on social media marketing strategy and we spoke about the smart object phase about the tactics somehow these things are really going to help right uh, present across the powerpoint presentation so forth and so on so all that thing really helps in social media marketing you can go ahead and blog regularly on what all things are happening in your business on your in your organization and all other content like uh, create a lot of ebooks uh, and a lot of webinars record webinars and uh, get that across also, you can create, you can curate content, white papers. All right, that's a very great question. So, white papers, guys, is something like, uh, are you aware of uh, the Kindle books? Kindle books, if somebody is aware of that. So, eBooks, uh, yeah, you're aware of the eBooks, right? So, white papers is a premium version of the eBooks, guys, right? So, let me show you a sample. So white books are premium versions of ebooks, you can say, right? So, sorry, white paper. Uh, I have written white book. So, so let's say if I take white paper on social media marketing. So these are some of them. So 15 free social media. These are some uh, some are uh, some of these uh, white papers are like ebooks only. There is a thin line of difference, uh, Santosh, between white paper and the ebooks. Ebooks, most of the ebooks are free only, and white books, most of the white uh, white papers, most of the white papers are paid. So paid version of ebooks, you can say, are sort of white papers, and they are generally taken out by renowned authors. White papers are most of the times are sort of ebooks which are uh, created by renowned authors, renowned writers, so forth and so on. So these are some of the white uh, papers which you can see over here. All right. So if I scroll further down, strange, it's not coming out. All right. So here you go. 15 uh, social media white papers. Over here you have all of them. So these are some of the white papers. If I'll uh, just open one of them. It's a 12 essential tips for success in social media. This is one of the white paper. Okay, they have somehow removed that. That's why there is this uh, page, an empty page coming across. If I click on this one, let's see. So white paper about social media marketing. I can try another one. And then show you. All right. So even this is uh, this has got deleted. Some of these white papers have been deleted. Even this one has been deleted. Strange. Okay. Mashable is a pre pretty renowned website, and the links which they have right now are not uh, not working links. They all are dead links right now. All right, so this is one of them. All 
so i have uh, already got one of the white papers okay this is one of the white paper all right which i had already opened up i was actually reading about app optimization app store optimization app marketing so this is one of the white paper guys it's a sort of a guide also uh, maybe saving cost absolutely for saving cost also you can say absolutely so instead of having other things uh, you know the printed stuff you are going ahead with uh, instead of having hard books what you have what these guys have done they have they have created ebooks or white papers whatever you want to name them all right so there's a thin line of difference all right so that's the example all right i hope it does answer your question and then coming back to the same uh, part which is the tactics so you blog regularly and uh, then you all right so you can create curate content when i say curate guys it means that you refurbish the content if you have created let's say for some content across on your blog it's very easy to go ahead and rephrase the words curation of the content means rephrase rephrasing of the words rephrase the content and post it across on various other channels so that uh, it becomes visible to uh, your end audience as a new thing you know if you would type in the same wordings for the same page it will appear as uh, uh, you know a very uh, stingy thing i mean something which is uh, very old something uh, that will not interest the end customers they will feel like you are typing in the same stuff again and again but various bigger organization also submit the old web pages they share across old web pages stuff again and again uh, and they do it by changing the packaging part you can say when when i say changing the packaging part they go ahead and change the words and then they share that across on various other social media sites all right so also from uh, so seo point of view you know google is a quite a fan of having a lot of uh, blog posts lot of content across on your website you've already seen that when we have covered search engine optimization all right so uh, usage of uh, all the social media network sites like google plus facebook linkedin twitter is very much important in terms of uh, you know using the social media sites and whenever you type in some content across on these platforms do make do uh, keep it this keep this thing in mind that every single word which you're going to type it uh, on these social network sites will create an image of your entire business the moment let's say even you do a small spelling mistake or there is a uh, there is some uh, what do you say wrong english uh, or wrong language you know sentence formation is not done right wrong grammar grammatical mistake or a spelling mistake that thing can really break uh, your you know entire brand positioning in way too much the negative stuff you know travels faster than the positive trust me this has happened this happens with every organization if you do a lot of good work on social media networking site you try you you know daily you share good stuff this might get unnoticed but the moment you will type in some something really bad you can be in notice you know, one of the example recently was uh, when we had this nepal earthquake guys in the nepal earthquake lens card if you guys would be i mean i hope most of you would be aware of this particular website called uh, lenscard.com lenscard messaged across on its uh, social media sites and also on a various uh, sms that shake it was something like shake your uh, uh, shake your shopping basket the way nepal uh, earth, uh, the earthquake in the nepal had shaken the stuff so people were like crazy how can you mock around a specific disaster let me show you a disaster which was being done across by lens card yeah later they apologized absolutely right so so if you do uh, something wrong something uh, in the negative negative stuff so that's what i was saying negative stuff tra travels faster so disaster by lens card during nepal earthquake was this so yeah so they said sh shake it off like the nepal earthquake yeah 
oh my goodness for nepal earthquake there are so many uh ppc campaigns which are running across okay these are of uh, ngos only so ngos are actually shake it off like the earthquake says lens card right this was the one let me show you that so they had got this thing across it says lens card discount lens card uh, you know there was a blog which said lens card discount to shake it off like the nepal earthquake was just wrong yeah this was the message guys it said that shake it off like this earthquake this was very bad of them and it says get any winston chase and glasses for such and such and then they really apologized this was in a fraction of one and a half hours right similarly over here it was mentioned so they did that across on various other so you have to be very careful when you type anything across on these social media sites guys right so that's the idea which i wanted to give you and uh, it's up to you what tone do you want to uh, go ahead and showcase across within your brand whether it's formal or informal that's up to you how do you want to position your brand and uh, don't uh, go for those platforms guys which you are not at all aware of let's say you're not aware how snapchat work don't go and just uh, play around with the live account of snapchat of your uh, uh, organization it's not at all recommended right so uh, there are various new uh, platforms uh, like uh, pinterest being there and you can also make participate on other social media channels like youtube and slide share so youtube is definitely being there slide share i hope everybody is aware of slide share guys it's a platform which is used to share across presentations let me share that so presentations is something <coughs> excuse me i'll just go ahead and open that so slideshare.net and over here so let's say if, uh, for digital marketing patshala also we have a specific uh, slide share channel over here you can see that for all the presentations which i use i have got that uploaded across on slide share so if i open let's say one of them let's say this one this is the one so i can share across with the ur across with each and every one the url so you can go ahead and create your own profile and upload across content this is going to speak so uh, to the entire world what digital marketing patshala is all about similarly for every single brand they have their own channel you have to be very particular about what you are talking about right similarly for uh, youtube we have the youtube channel right so for digital marketing patshala we have a facebook account we have all the other social media profiles right we have our google plus page also let me show you that so i mean i don't think i need to show you all that you guys are very much aware of all that uh, why the, the overall stuff which you are so slide share comes up over here and this is the google plus one right so that's the google plus uh, page where we keep posting across a lot of stuff right so all that stuff being there and this is the url guys of uh, digital marketing patshala and here you go so uh, all right i believe i have already shared with you not really all right so that's a url for digital marketing you can type across digital marketing patshala in slide share and get all the slides all the slides which have been uploaded across all right so that's with the overall social media from the tactics point of view right so all of these channels should be used across now we'll deep dive into each one of them we'll start with facebook first so that's more from the generic from a broader perspective guys about social media marketing that is more from the broader perspective what how things should work there are various there are very less uh, technical stuff guys which are involved into social media marketing uh, so you don't need to be like uh, we haven't learned something which is technical there are various very less uh, technical stuff let's start with facebook marketing guys i don't think i need need to give information about what facebook is 
what Facebook does for us, right? They, I'm going to tell you about certain, uh, first of all, couple of things about Facebook that for Facebook, if you have a, a business which you want to promote across, there are two things on Facebook which you can go ahead and do. One is having a Facebook personal profile and having a Facebook business page. Is everybody aware about Facebook business page, guys? The difference between Facebook business page and a Facebook profile. So you can have your own personal profile and for a business, you can have a Facebook business page. Is everybody clear on that? Is everybody aware of the difference, guys? Anybody who's not aware of that can let me know. All right, so Abhishek says yes. All right. Okay, we have more people joining in. Nimesh, I believe you are joining in for the first time, right? And Mamta, also you are for the uh, you have joined in for the first time, right? All right. Yes, says Nankumar knows and Sunil also says no about that. Great. Anyone else who is not aware of the difference can let me know. So I'll share across with you. So for promotion of businesses, it's very much important to go ahead and create a Facebook business pages. All right. I have Guru says, could you, could you share some digital marketing related blogs or websites which shares daily news? All right. Absolutely. Sure, Guru. Uh, one of them being. So Mamta says no, no to what question was that uh, Mamta? So search engine watch.com is a great website guys. I'll share with you the URL. So in case you want to be updated about the entire uh, digital marketing industry, what you can do is read across so websites like search engine watch.com. This is one of my favorite one. So this particular website, so business page on Facebook, you're not aware of that. Monta. All right. Sure. Okay. So over here uh, in this website, you have information about the entire industry on daily basis, about SEO, about PPC, about analytics, about social media, local mobile video and so forth and so on about conversion. So this is one of my favorite one guru, which uh, and uh, you don't need to go ahead with and uh, read about other stuff. This is way too, way too sufficient. Also, in case you want to be uh, aware of uh, various other things then search engine general is another otherwise i uh, read quite a lot and uh, i publish many things on my major website also so a couple of my websites i can so i also blog across about various new things i can share with you the blog url so on yourcreations.ca we have the All right, so this is uh, how to be a problem solving SEO is something which we have got uh, published on October 7th, then on October 5th, five essential hybrid digital marketing skills to develop. So I blog a lot over here. You can, you can guys search engine land, absolutely. Uh, search engine land, search engine watch, and search engine journal, they all are there, absolutely, Vibor. So I have my blog where I type, uh, where I post quite a lot of stuff. Right, so recently Facebook uh, ad support 360 degree uh, videos. If anyone of you have seen 360 degree videos, they have actually come up where you can uh, create 360 degree sort of an angle of uh, a lot of stuff. And uh, I would like to share that. And also this is one of the, another blog. So, the latest blogs come up over here. So these are the recent post. These are the recent post which you can actually go ahead and uh, look at. All right. Yeah, just like 360 degree images. Absolutely. So these are the three different, uh, two different blogs, guys, which I go ahead. You can click on October 2015 and be and check out various other blogs which are there. All right. So will the rise of mobile apps kill SEO and SEM? Uh, this was submitted recently or yesterday only and how Google personalizes your search results so forth and so on all right so uh, okay coming back to Facebook guys 
Facebook business page is something like, let's say I have this Facebook business page for digital marketing part shala. Now this is a dig digital marketing part shala has a Facebook business page and the way it is being differentiated, a business page is differentiated with a profile. You can get to see a like button. A like button is always done across guys for a business page. Okay. And uh, the add a friend section is for the profile. Most of you are aware of that. So that's with the difference, Kaya Mamta, you asked me. So Facebook business page can be created very easily <coughs> by, by going on to the bottom. You would see where did that option went. So you have that option. So okay, 360 is yet to come in, Sunil. So don't don't worry on that. So 360 degree videos are something which is yet to come. So I'll share with you once uh, that's there. As of now, it's uh, it has come in only in, in the US part, in the US region. Uh, 360 degree videos. You can have videos across uh, post 360 degree videos posted across. So how you can create a page is by going onto the right hand side, clicking on the onto the this particular part, and it will say create page. Can you see the way you can create a page is by clicking onto the right hand side the logout uh, drop down button, the drop down arrow. When you click over here, you it will give you an option of create page. You can go ahead and click on that, and you can go ahead and create a page for your specific business. All right, so that's how you can do that. Mamta, I believe uh, you have you already have something. You are already into some business, right? Uh, you sell across various stuff uh, through Snapdeal or something. Are you the same, Mamta? If I'm not mistaken, you have certain uh, products which you sell across through Snapdeal and various other channel partners, right? Hey, hi, uh, Nand Kumar. All right. So uh, you probably Mamta is not listening to me. So I was asking Mamta, you okay? I would leave it. All right. So that's with uh, the Facebook business page. Now with Facebook business page, guys, there are various tactics which should be followed across. When you have a Facebook business page, you need to be careful about certain things when you're promoting across your brand, about uh, you're promoting across your business on Facebook. Number one being select a relevant cover photo. Having a relevant cover photo, guys, is very much essential. Uh, and if this is being said that 80 to 80% 80 of image and 20% text adds on much more relevancy, much more. So in your cover pick, in your cover pick, when we say cover pick, guys, it means this, which is this thing. This is the cover pick, right? The pick which is on the top, which is the most uh, bigger in size. You should have 80% uh, image and 20% content. Over here, you can see only we have got just this content up and also this. So very less content and more of images. There are certain tools which helps you create these uh, in, uh, cover picks, guys. One of the very renowned tool is canva.com. Canva.com is a pretty renowned tool which is used for creating cover picks, guys. And also there is another one which is page modo. Anyone who has heard of uh, canva.com page modo guys, you can without being a designer, you know, you don't need to be a designer. You can go ahead and get uh, cover picks easily across. Well, let's say it's not connecting right now with my Facebook. Let me see if it gets connected. All right, so when I enter into canva.com, guys, I have logged in already. It does show me some of the YouTube channel art and also some other stuff which I have already created. So not used, okay, no problem. So you can go ahead and use that. Even a Facebook cover, so you can see over here, Facebook cover is something which you can go ahead and create. So as a social media marketer, guys, these are the kind of things which you would have to do. I mean, not much of a rocket science. They'll ask you to, you know, uh, how would you, you know, change all these stuff? How would you get a lot of visitors? 
what sort of content should be posted across cert certain kind of things is needed what what does uh, the end customer what is the client always looking for client is looking for such kind of things on the right so i can select uh, various images over here and then make changes to it right so let's say let's say if i go go in for this particular image and i can make changes to this particular so so okay guru have it guru has attended plenty of uh, what you say guys plenty of interviews and over here over there he has been asked various questions so uh, that's what he is actually telling across that lot about tools is something which is being asked across all right so i can go ahead and edit the url and i can let's i can change ready to take your skill sets to new level and then i can go ahead and edit this so sign up for our online digital okay i'm unable to go ahead and edit this not many all right okay so uh, i i mean to say a uh, couple of core couple of them so i am not able to edit really not sure why is that all right so i am just trying to see if i can have uh i can add in something more to this or not so i can go ahead and download this across and download this in an high quality image and this is what they are asking me they are asking me for money all right so the best thing guys is to go ahead and uh, take a screenshot take a screenshot and get that uploaded across so you can share it and share it across on uh, facebook all right so what i'm doing is i'm sharing it across on the page and all right so there are more things guys which you can do across i am not able to recall what were the other great things which you can do with this so page modo is something which i use the most and now page modo is also a great tool guys i can share this uh, with you and you can go ahead and make use of it on your own you can, you just need to go ahead and explore these tools so canva.com i already shared with you you can do plenty of other things with canva.com not just uh, not just this particular thing which is uh, facebook uh, sorry social uh, facebook cover page right so it says social media e-commerce uh, e-course i can go ahead and let's say if i make changes and download this across all right so it's the same way i can go ahead all right so the other things which you can do is let's say if i go on to canva.com major uh, home page this gives me about other various picks other various uh, stuff which you can do with this which is having a facebook post facebook cover we have already seen presentation instagram post and if i click on more other things which can be done is to create a letter head a resume is something which you can create an infographic blog graphic wallpaper ebook so with for ebook also you can go ahead and create an ebook ebook too some more other 
marketing materials, food and drink menu. Okay, so this is something which I was not aware of. I was just aware of the social media. So Facebook event cover photo, YouTube thumbnail guys, and Tumblr panel, YouTube channel art, Twitter header. So let's say if I take the Twitter header, so it's also Google plus photo, which can be done. Facebook cover, email header, and uh, a banner. Some more advertisements. Okay, so even for Facebook ads, they have come up with. Okay, that's great. So I wasn't really. So this is a great tool, guys. I wasn't really aware of that. So this is for the Twitter header. So I. This is same. This work. This is going to work in the same fashion, and these guys are going to charge you. Probably they'll have some. Okay. Okay. There was something which was written over here as free. Okay. These are free ones, guys. You can go ahead and make changes to this specific specific one. Let's say let's try to implement this. So if I go ahead and make changes to it, I'm just trying and testing if the more things can't see display moment. Uh, you're not able to see my screen. Is what is that what you're trying to tell me? All right, so you can play it across with this. Uh, you can play across with this tool, guys. So you can have plenty of things with Canva.com. All right, so having a great uh, Facebook cover photo is something which is very much needed, guys. So you have 80% image and 20% text. And also, it's very important to have call to action. If you remember, in the first one, in the first image which we had taken, we had the sign up button, right? So having a call to action, something like uh, which says the phone number being there, or also it says that uh, sign up right now. So the one which we had created just now had that sign up button. Where did it go? Okay. So. Somehow I can't show you that. Maybe over here I can show you. So I haven't changed the cover pic yet. We I did went ahead and share that across on the page. And on the page, when you see. You have the sign up button, right? So sign up button is very much important and you can go ahead and edit that across. And when you edit that, it should actually take you. You can edit the post and when you edit the post, you can mention the link to which the customer should go to. So having a call to action. When I say call to action, guys, thanks, Nimesh, for opening up your webcam. But if that is not allowed, so I go ahead and end that across. So it's very much important to have a call to action, guys. Right. So call to action is something like call now, sign up, get uh, get 10 percent discount, so forth and so on. Thanks, Guru, uh, for letting Nimesh know about that. So that's uh, with the cover photo, 80 percent image, 20 percent text and also call to action. The other thing with uh, Facebook is to be consistent with posting. So when I say be consistent, having a social media calendar is something which is very important. Let me show you a social media calendar, guys how it looks like I have it for one of my client for which I am already doing so so be consistent in terms of posting across the content so this is for, for one of my client all right for one of my client what we have got is uh, an Excel sheet where it does state we have uh, written across that for Facebook on this particular date at this particular time we are going to post across this message and this link beforehand in advance what we do we go ahead and uh, you know get these things created we first of all try to ask our clients what are those things which you feel 
we should uh, go ahead and post that across we should post that across on our social media profiles in the next 15 days where well, client is going to say us that these are 20 25 new things maybe you can talk about the car uh, the new event about the new product or about the new feature so forth and so on we as content writers or social media uh, guys go ahead and create that content and have the urls being mentioned and also the content we uh, do mention on this date at this time this social media this facebook update will go at this point of time at this date at this time right this particular will go we send this excel sheet across to our client and uh, beforehand for 15 days in advance we take the approval and we let the client decide what all changes do they want so we don't have to you know daily have to check with our client that what should we post will this be okay every day that is uh, two and fourth emailing we are actually we save upon that so can you just show and show us one posting uh all right so for this client what we did let me show you for this client absolutely i'll show you the posting mm -hmm. sorry uh it was So which is this so this was the, this is the client guys for which we are doing right now and i'll show you the posting which we have been doing for the client so the last posting was done on september 30th and this is one of the posting right so these postings when we have it on our uh you know excel sheet we go ahead and post it across so this was one of them then uh, Another one being this one on September 28th, then September 27th. Also, how to insert a link. All right, so I'll just show you. Let's say if I have got a blog post, let I'll just show you. So let's see if I have got a blog post, yourcreations.ca, if, if I take it. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to share across my blog post across on one of my social media page. So let this, uh, this one being one of them. So how to be a problem solving SEO and then another one being this one, do five essential hybrid digital marketing skills to develop now. So let's say if I take this particular one, which is how to be a problem solving SEO, and this is going to be the image which I'll be using. Let's say I take this image first of all. I save the image across on the desktop, which is data screens. Let's say first of all, I save the image and I take this particular content, which is how to be a problem solving SEO. I copy this across and then now I then now I go on to my Facebook business page, which is Right, so here you go. So that's the URL of my for company's Facebook page. What I do right now is to go ahead and paste it over here, which is this way. So I enter the uh, in, uh, content part. So how to be a problem solving SEO. All right, and then I can type across read more and then I can give a link which is this URL so this is the blog and I can take the URL uh, which is this and I can mention across the URL all right so I mentioned the text along with the URL and I can also go ahead and add in the image so I click on the plus icon and this was the image and then I go ahead and submit that across all right so once I do that I can click on publish all right so that's how the overall post looks like right so the post is going to look like this somebody who clicks over here will, will get to see the blog directly right 
so that's how another thing guys which i want to tell you is that you can schedule post also so let's say this is another blog post all right so this is another blog post and this is the image for this i'll pick the images in the post absolutely take the uh, take the images also automatically you're right so let's say if i'm taking this image and and let's say if i take some of the content from here which is five essential so what right now i'm doing i'm doing the same stuff but i'm not going to post it right now i'm going to schedule it for later on i can schedule a content for a later on uh, date so i can write What am I doing? Just a second. All right. So read more, and here's the URL, which is this. And then I go ahead and yeah. Then I sorry. So then I go ahead and enter the URL. So now when I'm entering the URL, I can. So it has not taken the image automatically. All right. So I'm. deliberately trying to go ahead with the image and upload it across which is this when i upload the image now instead of publishing right now i can do it for future date let's say i click on the bottom this icon over here guys i can click on to the bottom icon this arrow and then i can click on schedule i can do it for back date also let me show you for future i click on schedule and i can mention that i want this thing i want this post to come across on let's say tuesday which is 13th of october and the time when i want it is let's say um 9:49 am maybe all right so 9:49 am and i can go ahead and click on schedule now what will happen and then i click on uh, i have clicked on schedule okay it's working right now now what has happened the post has got scheduled and automatically on 13th of october at that time which we have picked it will come automatically onto this page so we can go ahead and do that for, for another 30 or 60 days for another 60 days so maybe post doesn't have any images the post did have the image but that was way to at the bottom guru that's why it was not picking up there was no other problem so uh, that's why right so that's with uh, getting the post across santosh now be consistent with posting like i told you so you can decide what part of the day you want to post and on how frequently you want to post i have shown you the content calendar also right so you can also get this content calendar which is very much easily available across and let me share with you the url guys mm, your yeah, my pleasure santosh all right just to say okay so content social media content calendar that's what it's called i would also go ahead and upload that across so yeah this is the one which is with uh, which is given across by hubspot.com All right, so you can download it from here. All right, it's taking some time to open. Just a second, and I scroll further down. It says download the free social from here. all right so get your free template so from here you can go ahead so you need to sign up you need to submit across the form and then my pleasure mamta so mamta i was try, just trying to ask you are you the same mamta who is uh, who's working across on uh, some products for, and selling across to several the channel partners like snapdeal and so forth and so on uh, i'm just i'm not able to recollect all right thanks got it okay 
so you, you reside very near to our Ramesh Nagar Center, right? If I'm not wrong. Uh, all right. Great. So that's with the, the Facebook marketing be consistent and I've shared with you URL. Thanks, Mamta. Uh, I've shared with you the URL for the social media content calendar. The next one is to choose a specific time guys in order to decide when uh, in, in order to get these schedules posted. So right now I've shown you how can you go ahead and post it across uh, on let's say 9.42 p.m. on you can decide on what date at what time. It's very essential to know when is your end audience, when is your end audience is going to be most active. So let's say if you uh, know that your most of your audience is going to be active during the night hours between 8 to 10, then that point of time should be used for posting across the stuff. Right, so it's all about knowing the time when your end audience is going to be most active and choose that. I've uh, shown you that. Use eye-catchy images. I've already shown you that uh, images is definitely part of the cover photos and also in the Facebook post. So having high quality images is definitely a yes. So you might feel that this is something again obvious, but many people don't even uh, pay attention to all these things. So you have to pay attention to eye-catchy images plus Whatever uh, you know, status update which you're posting, don't ever go with long post, guys. This is never ever recommended. Have between 100 to 150. If you see the ones which I did just now, just had one liner or two liners, right? So one liner or two liners is something which is recommended. So it was like how to uh, what the blog post said. So how to be a problem solving SEO. That's it. You don't need to go ahead and write across this entire paragraph and then have the link. No, never ever recommended on social media marketing sites. Nobody is in a mood to write, you know, read something. If you have images, if you have picture, uh, pictures, images or videos, then that is the best way because multimedia content is something which is uh, which sells across very easily. Right. So keep it short and then have a URL across. Then also have relevancy. I mean, whatever images, whatever content you're posting. So if I have my Yo Creations website, uh, you know, my agency page, then I should not go ahead and post across about the Facebook uh, stuff. I should not post across about, uh, sorry, not Facebook. I should not post across about, let's say, interior designing. I should not post across about the jewelry part or about uh, something which is irrelevant. So it all has to be relevant to the topic, you know, what the business is all about. Then uh, also it's good to if you can record certain, uh, you know, let's say videos by yourself, you know, uh, let's say you can on your in your own voice, if you can record certain videos and then share that across, then it will add a lot of personalization, personalization, people will relate to you. Let's say if I open, if I create a specific, uh, uh, if I, you know, shoot across a video and I have my own uh, face in front of uh, everybody and also I have my voice then it will add a lot of value you might have seen various uh, people various celebrities have started doing that uh, one of the example I saw that recently so when many uh, celebrities have started doing that so John Ibrahim I saw one of the videos which uh, so these guys also are brands they keep on uh, you know circulating across a lot of content on their pages so you know again some picture they'll have a picture but they record a lot of videos and then upload that across so you can see over here they have got so many videos across and uh, I would show you some of the recent one so he was working out in his gym and he was showing everybody that uh, you should do it this way you should do it that way this is the right way of exercising uh, a specific stuff so you can see uh, he's saying thanks to everybody it's all about personalization right you have personalization you can add in not just your own brand no your own personal brand but also uh, your uh, corporate brand also so john ibrahim in himself is a brand right so that's why he's talking to people and saying thanks or whatever other things are there right similarly other professionals uh, do it the same way i've I'm part of various, uh, right? So that's the thing. So use authentic, authentic voice and add it to your specific thing. All, all right. So I've spoken about the call to action. Call to action is something like, uh, you know, 
free sign up or free uh, you know sign up right now call up right now to get discounts so forth and so on so i have already shown you that relevant apps apps are no longer being part of the facebook page so i'm going to uh, remove that so uh, apps was something which was in the past now be entertaining guys in case that i read more thing absolutely santosh that was uh, the call to action you can click here to read more and so forth uh if you are a brand which can really uh, go ahead and type across certain uh, informal in an informal fashion can have a lot of other content then you should take advantage of that let's say you are an online shopping brand or something or the other and you are not a b2b you are more of a b2c brand then you can take you can uh, you know crack some jokes you can have some entertaining uh, stuff which uh, so that the end audience can really sort of uh, engages across you can have certain contest you know where you can ask people what do you think uh, the you know is the right answer for a certain question so you can uh, post across certain questions with some answers some uh, you know answers uh, which are like uh, you know some multiple choice questions or something like that so be entertaining also be educational you can post across uh, various content about how can you <coughs> excuse me how can you do this how can you do that so for a brand like me which is digital marketing partial i can type in across various things like how can you do on page how can you do off page for a brand like which is an online shopping brand uh, online shopping website they can type across various content uh, with relation to education content like uh, what is the right time to do online shopping at what hour of the day what all things you should consider while doing online shopping how you should pay from your credit card or debit card so so people really like to read such kind of content so these are some ideas in terms of the content which you should have some more useful information stuff so if you have these white papers and the other stuff which i have told you blogs and all you can share that across and also if you have seasonal offers let's say diwali offer being there holi uh the shera or uh, christmas offers you should you should definitely take advantage of that and promote that so these are some of the ideas which you should use for promoting across uh, your products and services with the help of facebook or right, it's so a cover photo i have already told you uh these are related to the facebook page post only same stuff i'm going to skip that i hope everybody is aware of the facebook so if you have a facebook business page you can get to see what people are actually sending you so you can get to see the activities part you know people if people are sending you messages you can get to see that in facebook business page so i'll recommend do create a facebook business page and you will see a lot of stuff over there messages other notifications come across then you can also get to see the insights you know you get to see how many people have liked your uh, particular uh, post and how many people have liked the entire page to how many people has the entire page has been reached across so let me show you live if somebody is not aware about the facebook insights so let's say if i go ahead and take so this is only applicable if you have your own facebook business page guys and this is a free part all right so it's a digital marketing part shana so guru says if you use images which is in google it may be subject to copyright absolutely what should be so you can create your own images like you have for from canva.com or something so don't use the images which are on google absolutely guru uh, so that's something which is not recommended all right so nan kumar is probably not able to hear me right i just want to check with him all right so uh, this is the this is a facebook page guys which i have of my particular brand i can go ahead and click on insights when i click on insights all right thanks nan so i was so it, it did show that you are not able to hear me maybe okay so it's good that you can hear me all right, so when i click on insights all right it's taking some time not really sure why i'm just close the other tabs all right it's the same ppt guys in case you want uh, the same ppt to get access to 
you can take it from here as well all right so the insights part it's taking time to come over not really sure why So this is just like Google Analytics. So we have analytics for our website. Similarly, we have analytics for our Facebook business page also. And that is called insights. So insights gives us a lot of uh, insights onto how our web page is performing, how our Facebook business page is performing. Sorry, not web page. So Guru says, does hashtag and add the rate tag works in Facebook as well as in other website? Hashtag also works and add the rate tag also works. Absolutely, Guru. They both work. I'll take. I'll just tell you that so this thing should work so at the rate is used when you are trying to pinpoint a specific uh, profile that uh, you want to tag across a specific profile and hashtag is to popularize a specific trend a trending topic a topic has to be trended across if you want to popularize something then uh, you can use a hashtag strange uh, why insights is not working all right so let me show you with the help of this uh, screenshot over here with this screenshot this shows you how much engagement you know how many likes were there all right how many comments how many shares and how many post clicks after the post has been posted a specific uh, facebook post how many clicks have been there on that particular post a particular post has reached to how many page people 1800 and 1500 uh, previously so this week and last week so you know this week is the yellow version and the last week is this the white version so you can get a lot of analytics various other reports on to the likes part reach part visits post and people from which all places people have come and like my page whether they are more from india or from united states or from and even if in india that are they more from mumbai or from pune or from goa or from delhi or from which all places i can get all that details Right, so that's with insights, which you can get to know some more about insights that how many people have liked the page uh, on the right hand side, you get to see that. So let me show you on the right hand side, you can get some more insights. You would see it will come over here. It should come right across. Right. So this week there have been 679 people who have seen my post and 50 people have actually engaged. So when we say 50 people have engaged, either they have liked or they have commented or something. There have been zero people who have signed up across, uh, who have clicked on the sign up button and uh, zero out of two response rate. This is something which is new. All right. So, okay. These are the uh, messages. So I can get more information from here. And uh, this is the Facebook advertisement part, which we'll take, which we'll talk in next session. So in next session, we'll do the Facebook uh, paid campaigns guys so this is about the Facebook uh, non paid stuff all these is not at all related to paying across to Facebook we don't need to pay anything to Facebook for using all these stuff which we are talking about now, there is another thing guys which is called featured content what you can see over here is pin to top what comes over here let's say the your creations are going to that page of my another website so pin to top is another feature where you can go ahead and publish across your content and make it on the top. Once this, let's say this content is published, I can pin it to top. I click on the drop down button and it says pin to top. What will happen? No matter whatever things will come up new, any post which will come up new will not be on the top this way. For another one week, for next one week, guys, for next seven days, this particular post is going to be on the top. Whatever new post will come, it will automatically come on the bottom. Earlier, what was happening, any new post which used to come, that used to be on the top. The overall way it used to work was like the new post always used to take the first position. But right now, the new post will never take the first position. Every new post will take the second position. And this post which I have pinned it to top, the post, the Facebook post which I have pinned it to top will actually stay there for seven days. This is just like a promotional offer if you have which you want to run it across for seven days, right? So pin content remain on uh, on the top left of the type uh, timeline. So that's over here or for seven days. All right. Then the featured content, there is a way to feature across the content also 
which is uh, or it's a featuring across of the content option has been disabled right so featuring of the content so there used to be an option which is feature content was there and that used to make that particular content that particular post take the larger size when i say larger size as in the sense this is just a smaller box right this is just a smaller box if we feature a content it used to take maximum size it used to take a much bigger rectangle so if i try to post a uh, feature this right so the feature post option has been deleted guys by facebook so it's no longer there so i'll delete this in my uh, stuff also so woobox.com guys is another website which gives you a lot of tools so woobox.com you can go ahead and explore this also with the uh, woobox also you can create uh, same stuff which is the cover pic the facebook status update you can schedule stuff so forth and so on right so you can go ahead and uh, you know play around with this tool also just like canva.com you have woobox.com also all right and you have short stack also so short stack is also similar where you can go ahead and design a lot of stuff uh, for your facebook business page all right so woobox short stack and then i have already told you about page modo guys right page modo canva.com these are some great tools guys through which you can do a lot of uh, changes iterations into your entire facebook marketing all right so some more five brainers guys which uh, again you would feel that this is something which is very much uh, okay are we all good so far guys let me know uh, within the chat box are we all understanding uh, isn't this a lighter topic L very easy to understand is everybody good abhishek guru mamta anand kumar nimesh uh, santosh sunil all right thanks nand kumar thank you santosh and thanks for listening thank you guru all right so i believe sunil is offline right now thank you abhishek and mamta are you getting it mamta how is it going so far nimesh i believe you also logged out for quite some time right you all right so five major brainers guys uh, which is you which you going to feel like that as if uh, these are something which is very common in order to promote across your facebook business page some more things which you can do very easily is number 1 you can add your social media profile your social media page url across to your business pages to your business pages you can go ahead and add your facebook uh, uh, url so your website and your email is something which many people do but you can add it across to your uh, business card your business card if it will have the facebook business page it will promote that too also you can have a facebook vanity url now let me show you what is a vanity url vanity url guys is something like this so let's say if i open facebook.com forward slash your creations.ca now this is a clean and crisp uh, url guys i have chosen this myself it's very much like choosing a specific uh, domain name on facebook on dom uh, a domain name on facebook can be chosen the way you can create a vanity url for your personal profile guys or also for your business page is with the help of this facebook.com forward slash username you can go ahead and use this facebook.com forward slash username helps you to define helps you to get across the vanity url for your page all right so over here you can see i can edit the username i have it for my particular uh, page my particular profile as facebook.com forward slash nick which is my first name dot batla which is my last name i can also create it for other web pages other uh, facebook facebook pages sorry so these are the facebook pages which i have let's say if i take it if i want to create it for this is another organization of mine which is internet hosting packages where we sell web hosting stuff so i can go ahead and create it uh, i can change it over here so you can try doing that let's say if i do it for another particular stuff another particular page which is designer trend which is over here or let's say let me show so okay let's say if i do it for 
I have already got it for this particular page of mine, which is Nick Bartla, Digital Marketing Expert. So you can see, I can tell it across to people very easily that my page on Facebook is nick.bartla.digital.marketing.expert, right? So this is the one, uh, which is my Facebook vanity URL, guys. All right, so I saw that we can do this in LinkedIn. Absolutely, we can do that in LinkedIn also. Absolutely. Right, so that's to do with Facebook vanity URL, guys. The next thing is, so, uh, is to have a Facebook batch. Batch is something which has been, again, uh, you know, deleted or you can say discontinued by Facebook. So Facebook vanity URL having a link on the business card is something which is recommended. Batch is discontinued. The other part is to have, uh, is to actually respond to everyone. If somebody is replying across, is posting something, is commenting something on your page, you should not let that go unnoticed. You should always respond to that. It should not be that somebody has contacted you and you have not replied back to that. It is very much essential that you respond back to each and every comment coming onto your website, onto your, sorry, uh, Facebook page. All right, and the last thing is to post content, good content, and be committed to it in terms of posting content on a regular basis, guys. Otherwise, uh, you're gonna fall apart and your Facebook marketing is not gonna work properly. So this is this entire stuff is about Facebook unpaid part, guys. In next session, in ne next class, we'll talk about how to create Facebook uh, paid ads. What are the right techniques to create Facebook paid ads, guys? All right, so that's all we have for today in terms of the social media marketing and also in terms of uh, the Facebook marketing. All right, so it's almost 10 or five. So we are just, uh, we're wrapping up like for 20, 25 minutes earlier. And can we manage two business page? Can we uh, merge? Absolutely, Nankumar, we can merge two business pages into one and uh, increasing the like is not gonna happen because only one page's like is gonna be there. Uh, Earlier, this was possible. I had done that earlier. You might have to contact uh, Facebook for that because recently my one of my friends was trying to do that, merging to, merging to Facebook pages. I have done it earlier and that was like four or five years back. But uh, one of my friends who was trying to do it now did a lot of R&D and uh, was not able to do that. So, okay, this is the page. Nankumar, you can go ahead and try doing it. So once you go ahead and open facebook.com forward slash merge, let's say if I go ahead and try do that. Okay, the last uh, guru, the online reputation one is the same one which where you had, uh, in which we had discussed these tools also. Yeah, have you found out the SEO tools video, guru? Within the SEO tools video only, we have spoken about online reputation. So voice con guru, not really sure. It's there for everyone else. Let me know when you can uh, hear me back. Okay, now, okay, so the video where we had discussed about the SEO tools, Guru, if you would have, if you have uh, got that, within that same video, within that same video, we have spoken about, uh, what do you say, uh, SEO tools. In the same video, we have online reputation management only. That was uh, at the last portion, you know, the last half an hour or 45 minutes where we have spoken. All right, so if I take two pages and I want to go ahead and merge them, Let's say, not really sure which one would I like to do. So let's say if I do camera boutique and let's say if I want to do where was photography tips, all right. So let's say if I want to merge both of them, I click on merge pages. I've got two different pages. 
these pages cannot be merged because their names are not similar okay so you need to have same pay same uh, names guys in order to merge them all right so you need to be first of all the admin uh, nand kumar and then the name of both the pages need to be similar so you can contact support if in that if in case so it says request to merge your duplicate pages and i can select the page one is this all right okay select the page you want to keep okay the page which i want to keep is let's say this one which is this all right so uh, you can go ahead uh, nand kumar and use this particular section and you can merge all of them together wow so i can have page number 1 and then i can have a page number 2 also where i can go ahead and get that merged across so i don't have any other page which i should want i want to go ahead and merge all right so let's say if i go ahead and do it for this one all right you got that okay then i can send in the request all right so missing fields it looks like something i forgot i have i have not acknowledged so pretty easy way i believe so let's see how so even i wanted to merge in and that's great i have uh, merged both of i have sent in the request here's where you can check the status of your support request okay so the support request has actually been posted across and i can go ahead and check all right guys so that's for the that's about the, the entire social media and the facebook and uh, whatever doubts or queries you will have you can go ahead and let me know and i hope everybody has got the url to all right so i want to take uh, the what do you say feedback as well guys before i want to log out just a sec give me a moment so please share uh, so here's the feedback url guys please help me out by by submitting across the feedback for the session today so abhishek guru nand kumar nimesh nimesh you have joined in for the first time so i would definitely like to know from you as well santosh sunil do help us with uh, filling across the feedback please i have shared across the feedback you are in the chat window once done please let me know in the chat window Thank you so much, Abhishek. All right, so I hope uh, uh, everyone else is also filling up the feedback form. Thank you so much, Abhishek. Thank you so much, Santosh. Thank you so much, Sunil. Really appreciate that. Uh, would request nand kumar nimesh all right so nimesh i hope uh, you have done that so uh, those all right so facing some issue no problem guru we are done with the session for today uh, thank you so much for the feedback guys i'll end up the session and then uh, i'll upload the recording for the today's session you can always go ahead and check the videos over here which is
which is this so DMP videos you can go ahead and refer this URL guys in order to go ahead and check the entire videos all right thank you so much guys for uh, sparing our time today and we'll connect soon in case you want to go ahead and check uh, I mean be part of tomorrow's session also tomorrow same time 8 30 in case you want to revise your Google AdWords stuff so we are uh, actually talking about Google AdWords in case any of any one of you wants to be part of tomorrow's session also tomorrow same time 8 30 we're gonna have a session guys all right uh, sure guru I will sh share that absolutely I, I, I have a couple of resumes I can share that across all right thank you so much guys uh, rather you have your own great website your, your website looks so the theme theme I haven't shared okay Santosh I would definitely share that so uh, I think I did share that Santosh you have the theme with you right can you share that across with Santosh that'll really help me that'll be so nice of you if you can so uh, Santosh Guru can actually send that Guru can you help Santosh on the theme part there's some wish, issue with the shared theme by Guru is that so Guru uh, is there some issue because you have set up the theme uh, right you have set up the theme for your website The image part except for the image absolutely uh, except for the image absolutely everything works fine with that uh, thing so guru the way you have got it done for your website can you help santosh also onto that part if you can up you know get the image up okay it's not uploading so guru will absolutely help you santosh so uh, the theme he guru has the theme he'll help you to upload that all right guys thank you so much for being part of the session today we'll meet uh, tomorrow in case you guys want to wrap uh, do a refresher of what we have covered so far so Nimesh says great but I can't uh, I can't enough time online properly because of bad connection anyway it's good a great experience all right thanks Nimesh Nimesh I hope uh, you can sh you have shared across your feedback also so uh, whichever way you want to go ahead you can let us know all right thank you guys thank you so much for the session today Enjoy your rest of your weekend. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye now.